Are you looking to sell a property that has multiple components? Or maybe you're an investor and you're looking at properties that can be turned into components to add up to more money at the end of the day. If this video interests you, I'm gonna answer this question in just a second after you press that subscribe button and the little bell beside it. So basically what I've seen in the past is you can have different types of properties, including apartments, acreages, subdivisions, rental cottages, campgrounds, land plus a house and maybe some acreage or some outbuildings. And in many, if not all of these cases, if you break these properties up or these components of the grand scheme of things, the whole real estate offering, you'll typically end up with more money. For instance, an apartment building will sell for a price. Take an apartment, turn it into condos, chances are you'll get more money for it. When you break things up, it may take longer time, but you'll end up with more money Typically, and if the market's going up and you're selling these units over the course of months or years, you could actually benefit from the market increasing. So the other thing is acreage. In the past in PEI, it's been difficult to sell large acreages of 40, 50, 60, 100 acres. But if you simply take that acreage, that 40 acres, for example, chop it into four 10 acre lots, you'll bang those off a lot quicker for $99,000 a piece than trying to sell the parcel for $299 for its entirety. Other things are subdivisions. If you have a subdivision that has multiple lots, sell the lots off individually. It's gonna take longer, you'll end up with more money. Rental cottages, these are really interesting. There's not a lot of buyers that are gonna buy five, 10, 15, 30 cottages because a lot of times they don't make the kind of money they should make. So take those cottages and either subdivide them off or condo them if you can't subdivide them. Campgrounds, same thing. You've got land that's vacant, maybe sell the land off, maybe sell the cottages off and just offer the whole thing as a giant campground. That way there's no maintenance on the cottages. Those cottages put on building lots are probably worth more than sitting within that campground operation. Maybe you have a house, it has 100 acres, it has some outbuildings, a couple cottages on the back, 40. Take it, divide it in a little itty bitty pieces. Maybe sell the land off to a local farmer, the cottage off, uh, cottages off as singles and the house off as a single. So when selling your property, I want you to consider breaking it up. If you're buying property, I want you to look at properties and look at what the upside is, as they say in commercial real estate, of what can be done with that property if it's positioned differently on the market. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the little bell beside it. And if you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.